Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for tuning in this evening for the Sex and Suicide Women Crush Wednesday podcast. Beautiful guest in front of me, a longtime friend, Vula Zervakos. I said that right? Yes. Nailed it. I nailed it? Nailed it. Did. And the co-host who is a permanent fixture these days, Mr. Brandon Ferris. Thanks for joining us, buddy. You're welcome. Are we going to do the high five now? Let's do it now and after. Now I don't know after. about the high five, okay. so I need to be... Slowly? Okay. Yeah, slowly. Okay. There we go. Okay. One, okay. two, three, done. Okay. okay. So that, sometimes that'll be the still for the, the, the uh, video. That's amazing. Right? The YouTube Perfect. video. Perfect. Yeah. Perfect. <laughs> the I last time, it. we did one where we had, uh, when um, Bedrin came, yeah. and he we had booster juice, yeah. and we all had the booster juice, because he had like extra protein, he brought us this whole little concoction. Which was awesome, by the it way. It was that delicious. Was really, I, I, have, I forgot to ask him what he did, because it was really good. We'll ask him. He probably won't tell you a secret to his recipe. Well, he bought it from booster juice, it's not a secret. Oh, okay. It just means a certain thing. Booster juice should have been paying for that episode but we anyway. work on that yeah that's our next venture so let's get uh, going with miss vula here okay. and see how she's doing we met let's let's go back in time for a okay. minute yeah how many years have we known each other Ooh. At, at least okay at least five at least five at least five but i'm thinking maybe it's pushing six or seven six or seven yeah. well, I've okay known that long too that might be true yeah 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 that might how, be do, let's, let's, how do you guys know each other i originally met you through uh Aaron Brennan. Yes. So she, I actually met uh, Brandon through my best friend and okay. her now husband. Oh, really? Her yes. husband is one of my best friends. Yeah. Right on. Yeah, yeah that's true. And so did, yeah, you're right. Were I mean, you not his boss at one point in time? I was yeah, his were. boss at one point For a short time. period of time. It was a short period of yeah. time. So I don't, fun, though. Great I don't know what that says about me as a boss. No, like, no, no. I, no. You know, <laughs> it says a lot more about him, trust yeah. me. Oh, okay. <laughs> for sure. However, you were a great boss. It was just, Thank just, you. I couldn't you were it. a great employee. I tried. How You did do. You did very well. You have been the boss of a lot of people in this city. Oh, God. I'm just thinking about that. That's probably true and, yeah. and where we met was uh, Robinson Hall yes. here in London Ontario yep and are you still doing stuff for for that you know I don't it's it's Robinson Hall and now it's Hudson right and Hudson yeah is, is it the two of them and that's it it's the two of them and that's it so uh, the owner actually has a third bar called the Belfort but I'm okay. not involved in that part of the project you were at one point though, i right? was at one point oh, so yeah. there was a place. time where that bar was called the gatsby yes um and i love that it i was, just love the name yeah it, honestly it was the best name for the to explain what was happening over there oh my yeah. god there it was two solid years of what should have it what was las vegas just plopped in the middle of london yeah. in the middle of an industrial building like you know there's a concrete like plant next door to us yeah. in some random rug store yeah and here in this industrial building is this gorgeous bar with these wild parties like, yeah and the bar fits 1100 people yeah so at any good. given night you're just there are like 1100 people mm-hmm. inside plus whoever you have outside and you're it's just wild yeah and you were able to section it off so if it wasn't busy you could still fill certain rooms it was a, yeah. it was a weird layout and Oh, to be man. honest, I spent more time in that place when it was the Forum, which was a oh yeah infamous yeah. strip club I here. I never in went there. I never went there. You never before. went there. I'm not a strip club guy. I, well, I wasn't. I went guy. through a phase. I went through a phase in high school. Phase, buddy. You never did high school. High school. You get your yeah. fake ID. You get Whoa. your fake ID. Yeah, that's a that's when the fabulous Forum was. I was still in high school. You're only a couple years older. Than and me. we go. I know, but yeah. we we go to uh, the fabulous Forum strip club. And they had a prime rib special for lunch. No. <laughs> so we'd go there. We'd go there on like a Friday, get the prime rib, watch some titties in our face, and then that was go back to school. Like, how do you go back to That's what I was just class? Yeah, I was going to say. I think I'm pretty sure most of the time we ended up taking off for the rest of the afternoon. You have to. Tits and then parabolas. Yeah. yeah. Tits, tits, and then, tits and then geography class. Where can I find the tits? Yeah. I don't, I don't understand this math question. Yeah. Do you answer tits? <laughs> yeah. But let's get back to your business. Yeah, you're yeah. all you, your We can talk about tits on this whole podcast, but we'll get back to your business. So um, you, what, what is your role now? Like, you've been there so long. You've been so dedicated to that place. Yeah, I have. Are um, you like a part owner? No, not, I'm not. Almost? No, no, not even close. We, um, we got to get you there. Yeah, right? Someday. Mm-hmm. I, I don't we'll know. If I'm part owner, I think John would just freak out. They need that, you that would be too much involvement. You really? Know? Yeah, because he can tell me to shut up. Ah, I see. I see. <laughs> um, but no, I actually love my role. So I'm I'm still managing there. So I've ma- yeah. been managing there probably five years. So the previous five years to that was serving and bartending. Right. Um, and the best part about it is I know every nook and cranny there. So it's a lot of things just come so naturally. Or right. when you're trying to build on something, you have such a good basis that it's easy to kind of adapt to any sort of changes because that's the most consistent part of the industry is that every right. day is different and it will always change. Right. Nothing right. ever stays the same in the bar industry. S- no. So you have to be a bit of a chameleon in that sense. You totally do. Yeah. Yeah. You do a great job of it. I remember Thanks. every 
everyone that's ever met you always says what a sweetheart you are. Thanks. I'm sure there's a couple of people that disagree, but <laughs> Me, maybe. <laughs> we haven't met them yet. Yeah. Okay, perfect. Yeah. And then we'll knock them out. Yeah. <laughs> Scottish kiss. Scottish kiss. Actually, she's the glue that runs that place together. When I was working there with the employees, yeah. you, you're the actual glue that keeps everyone sane there. Thanks. I, try. I think you're like the you're the, the woman that you go to too. If like someone wants to rag about another staff member, you can kind of talk some sense, and you're like the mediator in a way too. I think a big part of it is just being in it for so long. I've heard and dealt with so many issues that yeah. now I put I look at myself five years ago and I'm like, oh, I would never do that, or I'd never handle a situation like that because I've just come through so much that I can now feel most effectively can deal with. Right. What needs to be dealt with. So you, you're um, in like you you feel like the management role that you're in is now something that you f- you fit perfectly. Absolutely sure. And it's almost and to the point now where it's it's not even just it's not a it's not a job. It's a, you know I have friends that work there. I've built personal relationships. I've have people who I did not know at the beginning of time when they started working there, and now I'm great friends with them. Mm-hmm. So there's this whole personal aspect to it that just makes it that much more fun. Right. Um. You know. People are like, oh, you know, don't you hate giving up your Friday, Saturdays all the time? Right. And I'm like, I'm here with my friends. Yeah, I'm listening to good music. I'm yeah. getting paid. Yeah. It's a great party. Yeah. Um, sure, there's stressors. But I mean, uh, two o'clock happens every single night. Yeah. So you know it's going to end. If sure. it's the worst night of your Touché. life, you it's know it's going to end at yeah. two o'clock. Yeah. Yeah. So, you know, you just power through and, and you know, it, whatever happens, you, you learn something from it. And how are you finding? Are you still doing real estate? I am still doing real and estate. And your commercial real estate, right? Yes. I haven't looked at. Is it still ICX? Or is uh, it something different? No, now? they got rid of ICX. Okay, so now so it's all looked, MLS now. It's all okay. So I haven't even looked at it since it was ICX. I don't look at commercial very often. No need. How are you? Yeah, well, especially in this market. How yeah. is commercial doing in this market? Um, commercial is a little bit slow right now. Is so, it? Yeah. So I particularly work uh, in the office world, in the retail world. Right. And office is super slow right now. And really? retail's, retail's pretty good, but um, it's mostly food users. Do you ever think that maybe you want to get into the single family residential? Okay, so interesting story. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> just because of what's going on right now. Yeah, um, it, it's super tempting. Yeah. Um, but actually, I am I'm leaving my job and going oh, wow. to a new job tomorrow. <laughs> really? Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Oh wow. So what's like the new happening. job? What's the new role? Um, so I'm perfect per- timing. Yeah, yeah wow. perfect timing. Yeah. Yeah. That's not so, planned, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm in brokerage right now. Okay. Um, and not that I don't love it, and I love the guys that I work with. I've mm-hmm. been there for five years and yeah. they're incredible and I everything that I know is due to these you know three p- other people that I work with right. um, and it's an interesting dynamic working with uh, three other guys being the only girl on a team right. and especially in the commercial world because there's just not a lot of girls in commercial I right. can count the number of female res- uh, commercial resident yeah. uh, commercial agents on my hand right um, next door is one yeah yeah she's awesome <laughs> yeah. she does a great job she kills it she does kill um, it she's a boss when it comes to oh totally she like yeah. knows how to I'm not gonna things. give her a shout out though okay that's <laughs> but anyway. I wouldn't have I wanted so to tell <laughs> Tell me the... Uh... So I've decided to switch and work for a developer. So I'm still going to be in the commercial world. Yep. Um, so they do a ton of um, retail uh, projects, which is awesome because I love the retail side yeah. of things. For the viewers <laughs> that don't know exactly what you yes. mean by going for that switching, it's not you're switching the industry. I'm not switching, switching industry. the aspect of the industry. Correct. Yes. Go ahead and explain that. So sure. So when you're in brokerage, mm-hmm. the idea behind it is, is that you there's two different worlds. You can help... Um, what we call landlords or people that own buildings okay. mm-hmm. to lease those spaces or sell that building if they want to sell for commercial it. purposes for commercial like a purposes. store or a, something right. Like that. So okay. you wouldn't be necess- so you can sell a business. I personally don't do that, but mm-hmm. let's say yeah. um, Sean has a building, it's vacant and it's an office building, and he needs an office user. Okay, I will help him find an office user that's suitable for that space, and we'll get them to lease that space. Mm-hmm. So very similar to buying a home, right? Yeah. Yeah. On the flip side, you could also be on the side of um, Sean and you guys need a studio. Yeah. So you guys hire me and I find you fantastic studio space. Okay. So I go out and search the market and find the Not perfect space actually, based yeah. on your based on your budget. Totally. Look at you, you little saleswoman. Yeah, she's, right? just, she's just putting ideas <laughs> I, in her mind yeah. right now. I can't I can't turn it off. Such a hustler. I love it. <laughs> can't turn it off. I love it. I, yeah, he's all my money. <laughs> yeah, yeah, perfect. I'll take it. Yeah. <laughs> um so that's what you kind of do in brokerage in a nutshell. Right. Um nutshell. So in when you're working for a developer, you're actually working for the person that uh, goes out, buys the land or owns the land, will uh, build the buildings and then also does the leasing all in house. Right. So in some cases, developers do reach out to brokers and right. to help them. But generally speaking, they kind of do all of that in house. Right. So that's what I'm switching to. Hmm. So I would rather than working for somebody on a 
kind of contractual basis where mm-hmm. I have an agreement with them. Yeah. I'm actually just working with the guy that owns the land, is building the buildings, has the construction company. Right. And, and oh, is going, okay. yeah. So more freelance for and you. Are, you. Are you kind of exclusively his then or do you? Yeah. Yes. Oh. Yeah. yeah. So you can't really do. Never mind. He's actually really cool and he's totally told me that if I, if you, you know, want to take, I, on a... I take on something as long as it doesn't affect the business, I'm, I'm more than welcome to. Right. But I, I'm definitely diving into a huge, huge project sure. so i think that there is absolutely no time to be doing that Confirm. right are you, now are you allowed to talk about it or is this- um i don't think that it's like i don't think it's a big like secret okay. like every like i've already told my job so okay um so i'm working for york developments okay so yeah so they're huge in london yep. and um they're the company's actually somewhat small if you look at the number of people that actually mm-hmm. work there so when you go and look at their office you're like i can't believe you have this much property doing right. this many projects with this many people right it's incredible yeah it's like it, it's mind-blowing it's gonna be a lot of work for you is what you're kind of saying uh, you know what i'm <laughs> so excited though there's sure. just so much part of i've been so curious to learn what happens after a lease because when you're right. in brokerage you do the lease and you're on to the next deal sure and there's all these things that happen after and i'm like yeah. i want to know more about going this. down the rabbit hole yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. i'm I, I, you're absolutely rattle. right. Open I'm, the door, and now here we are. And you're, there you go. and you're still going to be able to juggle the nightlife stuff with that? I think so. Uh-oh. Um Yeah, I think so. You've, I don't, done, you've done a great job yeah, so far. I, I mean, yeah. staying still. So, I, yeah. I've definitely, I mean, when I jumped into real estate from the beginning, I had nothing. I no knowledge of real estate, right. nothing. So, yeah. and at some point I took on that position and was working at Robinson Hall. Then I decided to do my real estate license and work at CBRE and work at Robinson wow. Hall. Yeah. So I think just based on my past, I look at the things that I've accomplished to date and I'm like, okay, I definitely have done this before. I've been down this path and right. you know, if it's two less hours of sleep, it's totally worth it. You sure. You and you're more, you're more experienced now as well, right? So Absolutely. those little things you had to learn before, you already have those locked down. Exactly. And point. I also, yeah. um, we also have a new manager on board, Mike Robertson. So yeah. he's shout a... Shout out to Mike. Shout out to Mike. Yeah, he's a he's, good guy. He's, he's a beauty. Well. Yeah, he he's is a beauty. Well so yeah. I'm super pumped to be working with him and he's also going to be taking like a lead hand in that too so awesome. um, having like having such a strong partner in this project is yeah. going to be awesome you yeah. know like Mike has been in the restaurant industry for so long he that knows he, he knows his stuff yeah, and he's, yeah. he's a great personality so I remember um, I think I was with him the day after that he got the job he was mm. just starting it uh, it was it was thorny that he started at was it not yeah, or Robinson. It was, I think it was. Well, usually when you get hired, you get hired for both. Right. Um, but he's such a fit for Robinson Hall. Like, right. it's, you know, he just like women love him. Yeah, it's, sure. it's impossible sure. not to love That's the, the guy. He's just got so much. Yeah, it's the beard. I, totally. I ask him where he, he learned his beard from. You? Yeah, yeah. Uh, you know my beard? I do. Oh, I like that. Yeah. yeah. And well, I've only seen pictures. Oh, yeah. You remember but, how big my beard was, I think. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. It was a big oh, one. Yeah. I should grow back. I was like this. Holy shit. Oh, yeah. That's, oh, a yeah. Commi- that's a commitment. It is. It was about a year and a half. Yeah. yeah. A year and a half. I can grow a beard fast like that. Yeah. yeah. Oh, Must yeah. Like Mike should name yeah, his no, beard. There's, there's no hair here. Yeah. So it, it, it all pulls it <laughs> Gravity, yeah. man. It is Fuck. gravity. Yeah. Well, not really because it doesn't go down the hair. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. I remember Mike. He was Jack Astor's before that, right? Yeah, he was. Yeah. Um, but he's just like... Yeah, he's just so much personality. I oh, love it. I just kid. I love people who have a zest for life, like because you just feed off of them, right? Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. Um, and I think that's huge in in the restaurant industry because you're constantly on, right? Yeah, like, you have to be. You you are. I don't want to say you're performing because it's not yeah. artificial, Probably but it is, is. But yeah, but yeah, you know, you. you are you are hosting yep. for eight hours straight, right? right? So you know you don't have time to you know like you're hosting at home and you can go to your bedroom and like be like okay refresher okay good. sure. Well, you're you definitely know, performing. Like, if you're exhausted, you're definitely performing. Yeah, absolutely. Because you're, you're you're, you're yeah. acting because you're, you're like, making money too. Yeah. yeah, it's a performance. Regardless, yeah. that's how a lot of bartenders are successful. Yeah, it's performing. Yeah, sure. absolutely. Sure. Um, and and like, flirting. Well, you're a professional flirter. <laughs> sure. I think if you're selling anything, you're technically yeah. flirting. Sure. That, that is I, true. You, you right? make a really good point yeah. there. Yeah, I guess. I guess with no, with no with no initiative to have anything other than what you're selling. The sale, right? But you're flirting, right? Have yeah. you ever gone overboard and tried to go beyond the sale? Uh, when I worked at the Source of Fanshawe all the time. Yeah, 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 yeah all the time. <laughs> How old were you then? I went to Fanshawe. I was twenty-one. When you were twenty-one, yeah, I was twenty-one years old. It was a good time. So good you time. sold, you sold, and then you tried to sell yourself. I did a little bit A, a little B. Sometimes I didn't even sell the product. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. Oh, jeez. That's so funny, man. It's so hard to doing? turn it off, though. <laughs> it like, is. It's Sean. impossible. Like, yeah. When you're in sales or you're just in the industry and it's just when you actually really love it, it's impossible to turn it off. Like, yeah. I, I totally know that I'm. 